A kite diagram is a graph that shows the density or distribution of species that have been found along a transect. This is useful for looking at patterns of zonation. For example, you could use a kite diagram to display the distribution of plant species found along a sand dune. I have some data from a belt transect taken in an alpine area of Tongariro National Park in New Zealand. In this transect we recorded every species found along the transect at 2 metre intervals for a distance of 20 metres and a width of 2 metres. We found the following species along our transect. Tussock Mountain Daisies Bog Pine Anaka and Mountain Beach. To draw a kite diagram I will first need some graph paper. First draw your X and Y axes. On the X axes make a scale line for the distance covered in your transect. Our transect was 20 metres with 2 metre intervals. On the Y axis you will need a row for each species recorded. In this case we found five different tree or plant species along our transect. Each row needs to have the same scale and be wide enough to allow the maximum number of individual plants present. I will base my scale on the frequency of the dominant species present along the transect. Mountain daisies were the most common species in the transect, with eight specimens being found at one point so I will make each row 8 centimetres wide. In the centre of each row draw a line. If there were 8 mountain daisies at a particular survey point, after dividing this figure in half there are 4 mountain daisies which I'll plot on either side of the centre line. Overall this will add up to 8 plants. When you have plotted up the points for this row, Draw lines that join up the points. This will give your graph a kite appearance. Colour in between the kite lines. Now repeat these steps for the other species in the diagram. Give your graph an appropriate title. Here is our completed kite graph. If you choose to present your diagram as percentage cover, allow 10 cm width. Again remember to divide the 10 cm by 2, so 5 cm width on either side of the centre line. This is useful for displaying mosses, lichens and smaller shrubs. These require interrupted transects with quadrats centred over each 2 metre interval.